Welcome to Craft Stick Bending. I'm Brad Griffith. I'm the inventor and creator of this new craft. Craft Stick Bending is the new art, craft, and engineering of bending, molding, shaping craft wood, craft sticks, for the purpose of building toys, gifts, and art and crafts. This is our basic bending video. And I'll show you the chapters we have going on. The, uh, the chapters you're going to find in this video are things such as uh, choosing the right stick. Where do you buy the right stick? What to look for in the right stick? Then there'll be one on household bends. What can you bend around at the house? Not only to make the shape, but what can you bend to hold in place? These are a little camera stand, uh, phone stand, uh, razor stand. What is it that you can use around the house that would uh, help you with this new craft? We have uh, things such as right angles. There's a right angle chapter. There's a chapter on uh, molding your own, which uh, works really well for our bridges, which I'll show you in a second. We have a chapter on uh, cool tool bends, which uh, works well with our Pinewood Derby cars. We have a chapter on um, Cool tool bands, let's see, wires, twists, and sticks. This is a little hovercraft. We have one on uh, Sharpie pen bends, bulk bending. This is a little wine rack and towel holder. And then one on triangle shapes. So we have quite a quite a few things going on here. We do catapults. But why the basics are so important is because we have an advanced DVD which you need the basics for. And on our advanced DVD, we talk more about the uh, bulk bending. We talk about a skill called we call re-soaking. We bend yard sticks, which you can see a bunch of examples here. And we'll show you what to do with those. We bend uh, paint sticks. Paint stir sticks. And we'll have a chapter on advanced bending, which is how we did this the, uh, train. There's the locomotive. There's like the coal car. There's the Lobo, low boy um, uh, train. And there's just the freight, part of the freight train. Some of our bridges where we talked about uh, molding your own. We also, in that uh, advanced chapter, we talk about this little guy here, which is our cutting tool. It does do a really good job for us and Sam. And uh, the purpose of this, this is our little shop corner purpose of this is you don't need to be um, a carpenter. You don't need to have a lot of woodworking skills for this. This is my shop. 
I don't have uh, table saws, uh, band saws, planers. This is craft is for the whole family. It, it can be done safely and from a very small amount of space. We're making toys for each other. We're making all sorts of crafts for each other. Some of it can be uh, some of it can be a little complex. But it doesn't have to be this complex. This is a earring holder jewelry. This is a construction crane we've built. So if you have a young engineer in your house, we actually take uh, remote control servos and cars and break them apart and uh, build things with them. This one actually the elevator does work and the crane works. These two videos, uh, the advanced and the basic one, are important because what's coming after that are specialties. Specialties such as we have one for uh, castles, catapults, and chariots. And that one will show you how to make uh, big castles. Can't even show big on here. And we'll have a chapter there on making the chariot and making wheels to make uh, wagons and all sorts of uh, farm implements. We'll have a DVD on making uh, barns, stables, and fencing. We have quite a bit of uh, fencing designs that we've done. Another one back there. And that barn, stable, and fencing one will also carry on with the horse trailer. The horse trailer is uh, produced from a, a building kit. And in that kit we'll show you how to make um, the horse trailer. We'll make a trailer for, let's say for instance, your Pinewood Derby car. And um, we'll also show on one of our DVDs uh, how to bend and mold and add parts to your derby car. We'll also in that kit show you how to make a wagon from this uh, little kit that we're providing. And it'll have a DVD in there uh, for show and tell and how to do it. Uh, we'll have uh, advanced DVDs on bridge building and toy making. So for instance this is some of the basswood that we bend. There will be a chapter a DVD on that in the advanced. But this could be a rocket ship. It could be a lighthouse. It could be a pipe. It could be a telescope. So there's all sorts of things that we're learning uh, what to do with this new craft. We are hoping that uh, you will be very creative as well and that you'll send us your projects, pictures. We have the complete alphabet. uppers and lowers and then what that will be for us is we're creating a new font for the internet for people to use. We do a lot with uh, shelf brackets. So we're hoping that you'll be uh, clever and creative. We do a lot with uh, electronics where we take remote control cars apart and we rebuild them into interesting things. 
This particular one is a derby car with a remote control camera where you can video who's in front of you, hopefully nobody, or, and, or who's behind you, beside you when you're going down the track. Now it's not legal, obviously, but it does create some very interesting footage. And then you can take a picture of your parents alongside the track as well. And uh, regards to electronics, here's a Pinewood Derby wannabe car. All made from uh, craft sticks. Here's a monster truck lumber with a lumber rack on top. Here's some fun flowers for girls to make. There's some bracelets. This is the start of another wine rack. And this is basswood. This is our uh, latest creation, understanding how to bend mold shape basswood. Here's an example of a toy we're making. This is the caboose for our train. It'll be complete chapters on how to make toys. Some more of our bridges. We actually are discovering how to use uh, miniature rebar and concrete to make uh, bridges. This happens to be a toilet paper roll and then we formed it and poured it and let it dry and broke away the forms just like real construction so send us your pictures and uh, we will share those with the rest of the world to inspire everyone um, and show them your creations little shelf bracket there's another one we made from tree limbs. Thank you very much. Enjoy.